G'day, Mike from Aussie Mike's Bees. Back again with this trap out. It's a bit over, oh, about a week later. Got a call from the builder and it says bees are still getting out. So I'm back on a Sunday when there's no one around to see what's going on. So this one, the first one, it's these two that are the problem. And I was just looking and they're, they look like they're using the entrance there as well, but they're still coming out of the funnel. And I just looked around the side there. I don't know what the light's like. It looks like they've found another crack in the bricks to get through. I'll seal that up again. I don't think they're getting around the funnel or the panel. So that bit's working. And I can see bees up there with pollen heading towards the crack up the back there. So this one should be a simple one to seal up. The other one I'm not so sure about. I might have to pull the panel with the funnel off. I've got some Scotch brights that oh, it's not steel wool. So Rodney Middleton, uh, one of my viewers, and I'm also a viewer of his channel, recommend going and having a look at that one. He said he uses steel wool as a gasket to seal out the bees. They seem to be able to keep finding their way in past the, the sicker flakes that I've put in, but I'll get up and have a look at that one after I just seal up this last little hole and we'll see how we go then. It looks like there's bees at the entrance and I'm a bit loath to disturb this nuke box I don't want to put them off if they've started work on it. I don't want them to stop. Anyway, I'll get on with locking up that other hole in the bricks, gap in the bricks, and then I'll move on to that other one. Yeah, it looks like this is the one. I'm just heading up towards that gap in the bricks, and in they go. They all still hang around the edge of the board where the funnel is, but I can't see that they're getting in there. They just land there and then head up this way and in they go. I think this might be the last time I get to sort them out. I'll block this off. Well, we can see that that's caused quite a jam up now. So that was definitely where they were getting in. I put a little bit more on up near the board there they kept investigating a thin bit there i couldn't see that they were getting in but i just thought oh well i'm here i'll pack it up some more this has definitely caused their issue now so let's hope this is the last time for this one we'll see how we go with the other one now now i'm back at that uh the busier of the three traps uh, the one at the far right as i've said before that's got no bees in it. There's still bees hanging around it today, uh, but it, I don't think it's an issue. But this one, the middle one, there's a lot of activity. This is a very busy hive. Now I'm seeing some activity around the entrance. I just saw a bee go in with pollen, so maybe they're building it out, but the vast majority are slipping up behind there. And it looks like they've found a crack, maybe like that other one. So I'll get around behind there and seal that one up just the same because there's lots of bees going in there with plenty of pollen. So we're a couple of weeks into uh, autumn, but it's such beautiful weather. There's loads of forage. So these guys could go on for weeks and weeks yet. It does get coldish down here on the flats. So they do have a brood break. This is going to be very touch and go about getting them home building them up enough to survive because you know they've been getting in there so they're not moving out and I say this the queen's still laying so it'll be three weeks if I successfully stop them getting in now it's still going to be three weeks before the last of the current brood emerges and leaves so it's hard to say what's going to happen here I can see down here they're crowding around the bottom there too so I might have to double check but they've not found a way in there as well. Once I block up that one at the back, they're going to get very busy here again, like on previous times. 
Let's just have a look at the funnel there. You can see there's a steady stream of bees coming out. Occasionally there's, there's ones going back in. So some of them have figured out how to get back in, but the vast majority, it's all outwards going the way it's meant to be. I'm just around the back side of that middle one now, and I can see we've got a spot they're getting in. I'm just gonna use my blower so you can see exactly Oh, where they're getting in and out right there. So we're going to get that one up again. Trying to see if they're also getting in anywhere along the board. They're all over it, but it looks like they just land on that and then march over to, over to where they're getting in just here. Once I seal that up, they're going to get busy again. I might just give that board a blow as well. I, I sealed up a bit more on the bottom edge. They were working it crazy. Just along the bottom edge of the yellow board there. Now they're leaving it alone, mostly. So I think they might have found a, a little way in there, but it was hard work for them, I think. This is definitely where they're all getting in. The only question is, are they also getting in another spot on that right hand side of the board? That's what I don't know at this stage. They're certainly hanging around there a lot. I might just watch for a bit and see, or I'll give them a blow and see if I can see where they're getting in, if at all. They're also hanging around that gap on the window frame, so I'm gonna goop that one up as well. That's definitely caused some congestion. Just hoping I've got them completely blocked off now. Gooped up around the window there. That's got a bit of a crowd going on there, so who knows how they were getting through from there. But that one behind the nuke box, completely blocked off now, and that's driving them nuts. There's masses of incoming bees. There's a bunch hanging around the, ed the end of the funnel. My guess is they're trying to get back in, but there's also a lot of bees coming out. This happens each time though. <laughs> How many more gaps can they find? This trap out business is short, time consuming, repetitive. But I suppose if the client didn't want any bricks removed, what else can you do? I think that's it for this time. I think I've got them. We'll see if they move out in time. The builder said he's happy to leave the boom lift here for some extra weeks if needed. And it might need that now because if the queen stopped laying today, it would be three weeks before the last of the brood emerges. But she's likely to keep laying because there'll be food stores in there. So even if it gives it another week, that's in 28, that's a month. So middle of autumn then, and well, it could be cooling off. We'll see what happens. So I'll keep you posted. I'll just flip around for a quick look at this other one. Yeah, there's a lot more activity here now too. They're crowding around up there, trying to find their way in, but that's locked off to them now. There's a lot more bees out here now. It's not such an easy thing for them. It's definitely not as big a colony is the other one, but hopefully, hopefully worth saving. Let's see what happens. That's it for another one. I'll keep you posted on the next time I come in and hopefully I don't get any more calls from the builder to say they're still getting in. <laughs> what else do you do? Anyway, this is Mike from Aussie Mike's Bees, where beekeeping is an obsession, and I'll catch you the next time. Cheers.